Hey guys, it's Molly Pop, and for today's video, I'm going to be talking about a few errors that you guys have been having with Smappy, and I've been seeing a lot of really, like, common ones and repeated comments about it, so I figured I would make a video about it so that I can show you guys what I mean instead of just typing it out and so that hopefully this will help you a lot more so the biggest thing i get is that you guys can't find your uh, stardew valley files so a way that you can do that is by going into steam going to your library and then right clicking on stardew valley go to properties then go to local files and then right here the first one it says browse local files so click on that and it will take you straight to where um, to where your files are so mine are under this PC storage e steam steam apps common stardew valley and this is my stardew valley folder so this is where Smappy files are going to go, and this is also where your mods folder will be. Which brings me to the second thing that you guys talk about um, having problems with is not having a mods folder. Sometimes it will create it automatically, but if not, you can just right click, click new, Mine always, I don't know why, but my computer freezes every time I click new folder. Anyway, so new and then folder, and then you can just make it yourself. And it won't be a problem as long as it is called mods. And then Smappy will be able to read it perfectly and your mods will load. And so the next thing that people have problems with is... Um, that Smappy won't open or that it says you have missing files and so you can fix this by where is it um, but just by uninstalling Smappy you can fix this by uninstalling Smappy and then reinstalling it so they do have um, an uninstall folder or where it's just a little uh what's the word I'm looking for file that's what I'm looking for a file where it will uninstall everything for you and there will be no leftover files or you can just manually go like that and just delete everything um either way is works great um and then just reinstall it and that usually fixes the problem. Um, if not, then it may be due to another error. Uh, you, but so far, this has fixed um, your problems. Just It just happens sometimes when you're installing Smappy that uh, not all of the files copy over. And so, it's... Smappy still is a beta and it works extremely well for a beta but there are always going to be little small problems and this usually fixes it and sometimes uh, you do need to do it more than once so don't worry if it doesn't work the first time you reinstall it so the third wait not third fourth Thing people have problems with is uh, Norton or any other uh, why can't I think of my words today any virus protection <laughs> blocks your program from opening Smappy then you can go into your virus protection and allow that program so to do that if you are if you are using Norton I will show you so you just open Norton hold on so you open Norton and then go to settings click on oops wrong thing 
Why can't I? Oh, it's on my other monitor. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. So click on settings, it's right here. And then when you go into settings, click on firewall and then the program control tab. And there will be, a, there's a bunch of my files in here that I use. And then just on the side for access, you can allow it, block, or have a custom, um, custom thing, thing. <laughs> um, so, and then it will allow it every single time that you open it and you won't have any more problems. Oh, and don't forget to click apply at the bottom because otherwise it won't work. That is about it for the problems I've read in the comments. And the last thing I wanted to mention that hopefully will help you guys out is this application called Mod Drop. It is available on, well, I will post the link in the description below. Uh, so you guys can find it easily, um, but I did find out about this through the Smappy developer, and honestly, if you're not too good with like files and installing stuff and just, if you're still having problems with Smappy and just need an easier way to update it and update your mods and just have everything in an application where you can see it then mod drop will be great for you because it will tell you up here when there's an update for smappy usually when stardew valley has an update smappy comes out with a new update and it will also tell you um, when all of your mods have an update and you can um, Put your mods in here and it will update them automatically for you or it'll show you when there's an update and you just click and it installs it for you um, so in my last video I showed you how to install mods you do all of that as well the same and then from there you can take you can drag the files you download into into this little box see right here drag and drop them here to add to your library um and then so they will they will permanently be here and you can also browse mods it will take you to this is uh, through nexus so you can just look at all the different ones and add to your library and so that is another way that you can install mods. So either way is fine. It just depends on your preference, what works best with your programs, your computer, all of that. And so I just thought it was very useful and I wanted to let you guys know because it definitely makes things way easier. These are some games that you can use mods for as well and use mod drop with. So it's not just for Stardew Valley, just like Nexus mods is not just for Stardew Valley. But that is all for today. If you guys have any other errors or problems you want me to explain, uh, post a comment below on this video or my snappy video and I will get back to you. And if you're still having problems and just need a visual, I will gladly make a video for you. So I hope this video helped. If you liked this video, then please hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.